Canadian forces are setting up their base of operations in Kuwait tonight, preparing to engage ISIS as the terror group advances in Iraq. Our soldiers are flying into an extremely dangerous environment. The risks grew again today as we learned that ISIS may have captured several fighter jets. Our Mike Armstrong is in Kuwait City tonight. He joins us with the latest. Mike? Well, Robin, Canadian generals are being very careful what information they give out about the operations here in Kuwait to the point where at today's briefing in Ottawa, they barely mention Kuwait by name, referring over and over to the host nation and its sensitivities. Well, Kuwait knows Canadians are coming. This is the front page of a local paper this morning showing Canadian troops leaving Trenton, Ontario yesterday. Canada won't give any numbers on exactly how many troops have left Canada. The advance team set to be about 120. When they ramp up, Canada will have 600 troops in Kuwait. Now, where exactly? Again, Canada isn't saying. This is a base outside Kuwait City, where Canada had troops in the later stages of the Afghanistan mission. Apparently, this time around, the host nation has asked that information not be made public. Now, the Canadian military also isn't saying how long troops will be here. There is no specific end date. Up until today, the talk was of a six-month mission. There's an expectation amongst this coalition that, uh, that we're talking longer than that, yes. Canada is contributing six CF-18 Hornets, fighters that can hit targets on the ground. They'll work with coalition forces, but targets will be approved by Canada. Every effort will be made to cut down on civilian casualties. As for potential Canadian losses, ISIS is believed to have some anti-aircraft capabilities, but only up to a certain altitude. They are not absent the capacity to bring threat to, to us should we, you know, as we fly, but can we fly high enough? Yes. Now, there are reports ISIS is taking to the air, training pilots to fly captured Syrian fighter jets. Those reports are not confirmed, but are being taken seriously. An update today from the general heading up the U.S. efforts on ISIS. The first time he's met the media in two months, General Lloyd Austin says the main thrust is still to hit ISIS targets in Iraq, but right now the U.S. is also going after ISIS in Syria. ISIS, he says, has amassed so many troops in the area around the besieged Syrian city of Kobani, it's an opportunity Austin says he doesn't want to miss. I believe that he made a decision several, several days ago that Kobani was going to be his main effort, and we'll, as long as he pours, uh, you know, legions of forces there in, into that area, uh, we'll stay focused on taking them out. Now, that general is also warning real progress will take time, but he does say airstrikes from above are having an impact. For example, he says ISIS fighters can no longer travel in convoys. They're having to take civilian vehicles, and that's limiting their movements on the battlefield. Robin? Mike Armstrong in Kuwait City. Thanks, Mike.